Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my only goodies. Familia, I am doing a video you requested eyebrows. I haven't done an up uh, an updated eyebrow video and I think in about a year. So here I am, bald brows and all. I do have very sparse brows. This brow, I don't know what's happening. It's losing hair by the day. This brow is just thin and sparse. My brows literally change. Some weeks they're sisters. Some weeks they're like distant, not even neighbors, okay? This is how my brows look. This one's a little thicker and short. This one is longer and thinner. I don't get them done also, I groom them myself. And all I do is like, I'll just plug hairs that grow here. I don't even get up here. So this is all just my natural growth. This is how my brows naturally look. Because my brows go down, they have, they're very stubborn hairs. I need them to stay up. And the way I do that is, use got to be glue got to be glue is my jam if you don't have this you can use nyx thick it stick it i really really like this this really works and it gives you like a fluffy brow especially if you have brows like this that are just thin and barely there so the way i like to start with my brows is combing through see what i got going on i make sure i don't have any product on them so I just clean it up like this. Product as in sunscreen, moisturizer. This way the actual pigment of the product is directly on your brow and you won't have any slipping and sliding. You're gonna get a spoolie. I'm using this one from Benefit. Really like it because not flimsy. Another one that I really like is Elf's. You can tell I even glued it back together because this is also stiff and it has this spatula to flatten out. I'm gonna get a bit of got to bleed like this much and I'll put it on my hand like this. You're gonna get product. Depending on the type of brow you have, I don't have a lot of hair. You just go lightly all up in your hair. You're gonna saturate this product like this. The more hair you have, the more product you have to get in there. But as you can see, you can't even see these bald spots. This glue is technically like hair glue and it dries fairly quickly. The trick is you wanna let it dry for about 10 seconds. Once those 10 seconds are up, you're gonna get rid of any product you have. The way I do it is like get it on my hand and kind of go like that. So you're gonna have a bunch of product on your hand and then you're gonna start brushing up. I waited a little too long, so I'm gonna have to put a little more pressure on here. Also, I need to take all the product off because I waited too long, but now I have to work quick this way you start shaping them how you want i like my brows to go up like this and then i start kind of moving them to the side like this this way they go up and i kind of have they kind of go round you see how quickly this dries so you have to work fast i would say tops 10 seconds so you know you're gonna get either a makeup wipe or a q-tip with micellar water I happen just to have a makeup wipe. You're going to get rid of the glue here because when you apply your makeup, you don't want it to get all funky and sticky and whatnot. And I'm still working that product because it's slightly wet. I'm still working to see how I could change my brow because once this dries, you're done. So this way I could bring my hairs down like this and they're still sort of moving. Okay, you can see. Now you see what is happening with this brow. You see all the baldness. You see the shape. You see how it kind of goes up way up here. Then it just drops here. So all that we're about to fix. You see all this sparseness I have here? The sparseness there. I go with two products. Yes, it's a little much. This is the routine I really found that has worked. I'm going to get Refi. With this Refi, it's a gel. It's a color gel. You can totally skip this part, but I really, really like it. You're going to get rid of that product and lightly we're gonna start adding color slowly to the brow this is just adding a slight i would say tint and you're just going around that glue because it is a tint it'll leave some product there you can just get your spoolie and spoolie it out if you have 
thick brows and you don't want to use got to be glue i find that this can really work you just comb them through this i can't really use it alone because well i can i actually do use this when i don't wear makeup i just put this little color curl my lashes and put lip gloss and it's my to go i really like this because it's super sticky it will have your brows lay flat or however you want them but the color could get overwhelming if you have sparse brows this is the best gel i found like this where it's like a very lightweight but sticky gel. We keep looking at what's happening. Now I'm gonna get my NYX pen. I am going to look at all the sparse areas and literally lightly putting my pinky here, I'm going to create lines. And these lines, I'm following the shape of my brow. So here, I'm gonna go like to the side, right? I'm gonna go to the side here, to the side there. This also has to do on how you're going to, you brushed your brows with the gel. I went to the side, so therefore I'm going to the side with my pen. And then here the front is funky because I waited too long to gel my brows down. So we're going to fix it. In the front, you're going to go straight, lightly. Now I created a longer brow but it's still lightweight, it's not bold yet. Well, it won't really get bold. So here in the front, and then you're gonna mesh these hairs like this. So I'm now gonna go like to the side. So I don't have hairs that go up and then straight to the side. You wanna mesh it in like this area right here. This brow's cool. Again, if you have fuller brows, this may be enough. I don't, you still see they're kind of light. Now I'm gonna go with a brow pencil. Or you're like, Magdalene, this is a lot. Yes, it is, but it's worth it. My brows last all day long. I like the Rare Beauty ones. These are so, so pigmented. Not only that, they don't have a lot of wax, which is how they're like super pigmented. The way it's like angled like this really helps you get those brow-like strokes without really trying. And again, lightly, because we already have other products there, we don't need a lot. The way we're gonna do our brows is, essentially we're layering our brow on. <laughs> and that's just how we go get this good brow, right? Cool. Now it's looking good, my brow's long. I like my brows to be longer than they naturally are because I have big eyes. I find that they just it just goes better with my face. Then I started, when I did my full face of e.l.f., I used this as a brow cleanup and I liked it. I started using this one and I really, really like it. Again, with this, because this is a matte concealer, you have to work really quickly. So I'm gonna try to work faster. I'm gonna tilt my head back. I'm going to carve out the brow to clean it up, but make sure you don't touch this concealer with any of the brow product you already have. And slowly, you're gonna carve. I like to do small strokes like this. And this way, this tail is cleaned up. The very top, I don't ever touch the very top because that's always base I can work with to make my brows thicker. If you like the width of these brows, you can go all the way up here and then that cleanup is done. You quickly want to blend this out. This is a Sephora 15 brush. I love it. Look how tiny it is. You're gonna just clean this up like this. Tilting your head back and just keeping that shape you created, right? You can honestly use a much hydrating concealer because this one just dries so fast. The hydrating concealer also may not give you this straight line because it moves a lot. This is great with the matte concealer because the matte concealers tend to be thicker in texture and they don't move as much. Therefore, you keep this straight line going. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. You can't just use any concealer. Oh, and this brush, it's a crown brush. I bought mine on Crown's website. I'll link it down below. I bought five of these for like $15. They just sell them in sets. They're pretty affordable and look how thin this is. It's my favorite brush. Okay, and now we're gonna go back with the pen or your pencil. I find because the pen is much smaller and you see you can get into smaller areas, we're gonna get into here. And girl, tell me, tell me this before and after ain't drastic. And now you can look, you can see if you're missing anything because I do my brows before makeup. I'll always have to go back with the pen and make little strokes because sometimes I blend things out. Foundation could get on like the ends or things like that. If you want to do your brows after, by all means, I just find that because I don't have a lot of brows, I can't see the vision of my makeup without my brows on. It just, it, it'll work that way, you know? This is it, this is it. I'm going to speed 
this brow up so you can see just how it is in my process without me jibber jabbing. I'm kind of feeling this brow. She she looking good. But you know, we gotta get her her as a twin. She gonna be a twin today. <laughs> Familia, brows, brows, and brows. I want to actually show you a quick before and after just so you can see the drastic difference brows really do for the face. It really shapes the face. It gives dimension. And I just love creating like a longer brow. I feel like it does work well and better for my face. So let me know your thoughts. How do you do your brows? Do you use got to be glue? Do you use any sort of gel adhesive for your brows? Because I find that that really, really helps your brows literally stay in place in the winter, in the summer, while you're sweating, while you're working, while you're doing all kinds of things while you wear your makeup for 12 plus hours anything that just sticks down is gonna be your best friend a lot of brow gels don't do that you have to get something that has glue that's super super sticky the brow gels if you don't want to use got to be glue the brow gels that i really like is that next one rare beauty's coming out with a new one in august though their brow gel it'll be on sephora i'll link it once it becomes available that gel is so sticky and it really sticks down your hairs especially if they're stubborn like mine because mine stay like this this is it fam thank you so much for asking me for updated brow routine i have been meaning to do it and i'm so happy i got to do it i love a good laminated look the laminated brow to me it's like the best invention ever <laughs> but of course i'm gonna insert some footage at the wear test during i still can't think about that word what is that word golden hour yeah golden hour so you can see how they look i'm actually gonna go take a walk right now because i just need to get out of the house family i just want to show you the eyebrows it's been all day it's been i don't know nine hours maybe eight or nine hours look i'm telling you these brows are intact i did take a long walk an hour and a half and i was literally sweating and look when I tell you these are sweat proof brows, winter proof, summer proof, all kinds of proof, it's true because they're not moving. I love them. I haven't touched up or anything. Just wanted to show you a quick wear test in daylight. And yeah, this is it. I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you next time. Bye.